What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another video here on the Pooptopia server. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different to any normal video I do on the server. I sort of just want to talk about the channel and all you guys who do watch my videos. There isn't going to be much gameplay in this episode, but I'm going to do sort of a little rundown on what's recently happened off camera and sort of what you guys want to see in this series, or on the channel in general. So, for those of you who don't know, and that is pretty much all of you... Oh, oh dear, I've left my pterodon up there. That's not good, I was going to have to use that guy, but it's okay, got a tappy. Tappy Jara. Yeah, so, for those of you who do not know, um, if you know Dig from the ICU, he has been in a few of my videos. He's currently not with me now, but he has... In fact, merge tribes with me. We found ourselves doing a lot of collabs together and working together on the game and we were always in separate bases living quite far distances from each other. So we thought the only easy option to just to make life easier altogether is to merge tribes and that is exactly what we've done. He's brought all his dinos over here so we now have two giggers which is amazing. We are going to breed them again soon I think, get another fertilized egg and hopefully hatch it. He has brought his quets over which I must say is probably the best thing he's done. There is a sort of a technique, I don't know if you guys know it, you probably do because it's been out for absolute months now, but if you put like an Ankylo or a Dodeacrus on one of these ramps, you can go around farming resources forever and you can get your Ankylo or Dodeacrus up to 100,000 weight if you wanted and it wouldn't even impact the quets. Now I am sure that that's going to get patched eventually or they're doing something with quetzes and dinos I'm not too sure. I briefly read up on it about a few weeks ago actually but I'm not too sure into the specifics and I'm sure it will become more clear when it's closer to release. So we do in fact have two rexes now which is really good. My rex is broken I think. It is a female and I've had it for a good two months now, like a real life two months, and it hasn't laid an egg once. Uh, Diggs Rex here is female and it doesn't stop laying eggs, so mine's just stubborn. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's convinced that it's male, even though it states female, but either way, it's not too much of a problem. Eggs for Rexes are not really needed. So, base wise, we have done quite a bit off camera. I have in fact built a lot of the industrial things, so I have an industrial chemistry bench, industrial cooker, industrial forge, and industrial grinder. And the grinder is one of the best things I've used so far. It is the best way to get flint, I'm always low on flint, and now I can just craft it like it's not a problem. I've crafted thousands upon thousands, and I've in fact made myself a whole ton of gunpowder. There it is. And I've made it in all of these advanced rifle bullets for my Mastercraft Assault Rifle, which is very good. I'm actually really glad that I had the blueprint for this Assault Rifle, because it lasts so long. You could go around and shoot a god knows how many bullets. Like, I fired about almost a thousand bullets out of this thing, and it's only taken off less than a quarter of its health, which is insane. So, that is really good. It is fairly cheap to repair as well. Well, <laughs> when I say fairly cheap... It's not actually that cheap, I think it's... Oh, here it is. Well, yeah, there's the prices on screen now, but... I say cheap just because we got the uh, quets and we're doing that technique to get resources. It's very good. Uh, with Structures Plus, there is an option to pull items towards something, so if I quickly show you... I'll show you the amount of crystal we have, if it's still available. There you go, 4,000 on crystal in the smithy, and I think... All the metal is actually in here, yep, there we go, a whole bunch of metal, and then a whole bunch of random stuff, I've been doing a lot of fishing, and I just like trying to get some blueprints out of fishing, I have got some pretty low level ones, but I really do need a sort of Mastercraft or Ascendant fishing rod really. I have changed all these lights to blue just because they look sexy like that, and why not, considering it was recently in one of the updates. But anyway guys, I am coming off track a bit here, let me talk about you and the channel. So, you've probably noticed, it hasn't really gone unnoticed, it's been going on for quite some time now, that my uploads are sort of slow, 
I've been doing a lot of mod reviews lately, sort of anything to do with ARC that isn't gameplay related, just showing off things. And the reason being is because I am stuck for ideas on what to do on the server. I need you guys to actually input some sort of... something you would like to see. Like, I have this entire base here, I have all these dinos, is there any things you would like to see? Would you like to see me go off taming? Would you like to see me doing more collabs with the other people on the server? I could go cave exploring. I just need ideas because every time I log on, I sort of get bored. My mind is sort of froze. I, n I normally think about what I'm going to do and then sit there and sort of contemplate whether it's worth doing or not. But if you guys sort of give me an idea on what you'd love to see on the channel or in this series rather, I would really appreciate that. Like we've got so many dinos now. If you want to see more taming videos, then just leave a comment. If you want to see more exploration videos where I go into caves and try and defeat them, then just leave a comment and let me know. If there's anything you want to see on the channel, please do let me know. I'd really, really appreciate that because I have no idea what to do. I literally come online, feed the dinos, and then log off. I go play a little bit of Battlefield 1, play a few games with my friends. I am definitely have a craze for RTS games at the moment. Ever since I was growing up, when I first got into gaming, RTS games were my favourite. And if you don't know what an RTS game is, it's a real-time strategy game. If you've heard of Command and Conquer, or Supreme Commander, or Planetary Annihilation, it is sort of like that, where you build a base, build units, fight each other. It's sort of down the line to that. They are definitely my favourite games, but that's not, that's not me saying I don't like Ark. Ark is my number one favorite game. It's my number one most played game on the entire Steam library. I've had over a thousand odd hours on this game and it just keeps going up. And I have no intentions of quitting anytime soon because this game is amazing. They are constantly updating it which I really do love and there's just so much to do. Now, little Spiny McSpine face has been left on here for quite some time. And that is why I have came to some sort of solution of how to get up to my base. So I quickly jump up this water, I will show you. Due to all the metal I have obtained from that quest sort of method of getting resources, I am going to build a massive electronic metal elevator here. It's going to be extremely expensive, but I really need to get it there so I can lift my dinos up. I currently have this massive ramp over the wall, which really isn't ideal because anyone can sort of just run into my base and... There are alpha raptors that spawn out here, and most of my dinos are on passive, so I don't want one, you know, accidentally wandering in and just slaughtering everything whilst I'm offline. I don't even know how I'd react if I came on and everything was dead to one alpha raptor. I, I don't even know what I'd do. Probably uninstall the game and just cry myself to sleep every day. So as I am planning on building my giant metal elevator here, I'd love to see you guys comment. Let me know if you want to see a video on that. So something I've heard off dig, so if any of you Pooptopians are actually watching this video, do not blame me, this is all Dig's fault, he told me this, none of you have to blame me, I'm not making this up off the top of my head or reading false information, it's all Dig's idea, or whatever he said, but apparently, considering Courtney Chan has hit 200 subscribers recently, he did mention beforehand that he was going to be letting some of his subscribers on the server. And he did mention, apparently, that some of the other YouTubers on the server would be allowed to invite the subscriber base onto the server as well. And if that is the case, then I may have a chance to let you all join me on here. Obviously, you'll be able to go roam around, do your own thing, but we could become a massive server of YouTubers and subscribers. It would be awesome have some massive community going on and it would be great fun. Now I'm not entirely sure whether that will be happening or not so please don't you know take it at the heart don't take it as if I meant it it is just something I've heard. Things easily change here on the server there's a lot of changes going on all the time plans have changed things have moved around so I cannot guarantee that you will be allowed on here. Anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to sort of get it off my chest. I really need your guys' input. I would really, really appreciate that. So after doing this video, I will have no idea what to do. I'm probably just going to stick to what I normally do, which is just do a little bit of farming around the base and skilling my dinos, 
feeding them and that's pretty much it. I do need your input onto what you'd love to see, anything if possible. It doesn't even have to be sort of a survival related thing, it can be a little mini game thing that you know of, or it's been set up, you could do, I don't know, let's just, for example, Dodia Crust here, we could do Dodia Crust Racing, anything, absolutely anything at all, I'd love to see your inputs, but that is pretty much it for this video guys, I'm sorry for baffling on for so long, I just really had to get it off my chest. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I really do love all of your support, so guys, I'll see you all in the next video.